Yo, yo. What's going on, Lipsky? What's going on, everybody? This is Big Vike of Magical Box Breaks and Wars. Tonight, we got our Zendikar Rising set. Pack Wars. Three wars tonight. The first two are three seats. Three packs each seat. And for a total of nine packs for the war, our last war we had a seat. So last war has four seats and a total of 12 pack for the war. We're shooting for highest priced individual card, PCG Market. So I got a list here of all the $5 plus cards. Uh, list is probably from 20, 25 minutes ago. We're really hunting mythics in this box. Seven of the top eight are mythics. So, yeah, I just opened a couple normal packs and a couple collector's packs. So, Lithoform Engines number four, this is the extended one. These are only available in the collector's packs. There's a couple of them in here as my examples, but we cannot get the extended art in this. This is just showing you Lithoform Engine. And then number two on the list is the one rare that's hot, that's high. So seven of the top eight are mythics. This is the rare, and it's number two, Skyclave Apparition. And again, this is the extended art. We cannot get this in this box. This is strictly from collector's products. But this is number one card in the set. Agadim's Awakening. Letting you bring back creatures from your graveyard and putting them on the battlefield. And the other side is a land that and there is, I'm pretty sure there's a box topper in this. Maybe it's only in draft boxes, but I don't know. Here's a couple of the new box toppers, the new Expo lands. Here's a couple low price ones, the Copper Line Gorge, Dark Slick Shores. And then here's a better one, a foil strip mine. So yeah, the wars tonight's just for the packs. If there is a box topper that will be put in the group giveaway pool so we'll get our first list our first three well first couple three is james michael and kevin So there's our list. James, Michael, Kevin. We're going to randomize it six times. And then I'll just do the first nine packs out of the box. Two, three, four, five. Here's our list. Of course. James, who is rapidly, he's coming. James is coming there, Michael, for the final boss. We got James, Kevin, and then the final boss. Of course, Michael gets last. Last pick. So it's James, Kevin, Michael. And I have the price guide up for the list cards. So, yeah, the Cal Dime box, we definitely struggled with finding list prices and everything. So, I got that up. If we hit any list cards, which we definitely should, um, I'll quick just look them up. That list is in alphabetical order. So 
So yeah, I just blew out one of these gloves, so I had to grab another. Get these things nice and super fresh for you guys. Can't find gloves big enough for me. If you know some place that sells double XL gloves, send them my way. The XLs, I have a rough time getting on my hands. So there is a box topper, and yes, that'll go into the group giveaway. So I'll put that aside. So it's our first nine. James, Kevin, Michael, James, Kevin, Michael. Yeah, I'll see if the final boss can slow down the runaway train that's been James recently. Start it right off. We know we know we don't have a list card because of the token on the back. Oh, I forgot to see if are the rares in front of these. No, okay. So it's our art cards, our land, all our uncommons, or our commons, our uncommons, and everything good at the back. That's Nahiri. Which way does that go? And only one good uncommon, Bela Ged Recovery, up over three bucks for green. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you can get, like, extra uncommons and stuff in this so yeah your uncommons are started early blade master shadow stinger fornification an extra common in the back here these are packaged strange another common what How, why does it jump back and forth and then a rare Wayward Guide, a foil common, oh yeah, and a foil in every pack, and your token. So highest price everything, foil, mythic, rare, list card from each war. Evan pack one. This is... Nighthawk Scavenger. Come on again. These are like packaged strange with how they... So it's, yeah, here's Uncommons. Bunch of red Uncommons. And then, yeah, back to commons. And a rare. Kaza. Well, another rare behind it. Warren Reef. And, oh, and then a rare foil. So triple rare pack for Kevin right off the bat. None of them, I don't think, are that great. Undo Inversion. And then, oh, mini games, new mini games. I haven't seen these ones. Let me just blow my nose real quick. Sorry. Oh, Mike, got a list card right off the bat. We know because it's a normal looking magic card on the back. And not a token or uh that's aura sky cleave. Give us something good off the list. Put ankles down there. Yeah, they always give you that one common right before your rare, huh, on these? I don't know, back to uncommon? 
And, oh, and then a mythic in front of the list card. Hunting mythics. There's one of them. Right off the bat. Michael hits the showcase Omnoth. Setting the bar. Becoming the rabbit. And what's the list behind it? And, uh, oh, man. Uh, your common foil and then worn power stone from my favorite ever, Urza Saga. Let me look that one up real quick. Worn is, man, there's so many cards on the list. What? And again, I don't have it on here. Is this another one that uh, they gave us some crazy set one? Is it only the last one that this happened in in the Cal Dime set was from the Mystery Booster Edition? Did that just happen again, or does this happen in set boxes? No, here it is. Oh, it's only a little over two bucks. Why is it not on that other list from that's supposed to be the list? So Omnath taking the lead. Close to six. And Mike. Yeah, yeah, just over two. Thanks for the quick look up, James. I'll uh yeah, if somebody wants to check the prices for the list cards i'll just keep rolling in seven instead of having to stop so yeah no list for james to pack to this is magmatic channeler these art cards i'm such a fan of i mean other than modern horizons i wasn't really uh familiar with them and then they were in cal dime and uh yeah and this which i've opened like very very little of the showcases are nice in this too. Rare Legion Angel. Another one behind it? Yes. Oh, and another. So we've got a foil undo inversion and a normal one. And then another rare, another triple rare pack. None of them good though, again. And then a Thieving Skydiver. Your common foil and your Drake token. I believe the list is supposed to be about one every four packs. So if we get two in this war, yeah, so no list there for Kevin. This is a normal swamp. Is that upside down? Which way does this go? In a full art forest. Okay, still cleric. And there's a random common in there. Another random common. Rare. Maddening. Oil Uncommon. Tangled Flora Hedron. And your another mini game. Yeah, I'll take pictures of the mini games later in the group page. Mm -mm. No list. Oh, that's cool art though. Canopy Bayloth. And then a foil forest. Crazy. What is this? Dreadworm is just a common in this? Has it always been just a common? Oh, I'm thinking Massacre Worm. 
your random. Oh no, that's an uncommon. Another uncommon. Rare. Winvala. Foil common behind it. And your booster blitz. I've heard of that one before on the back of your construct. Last one, Chasen Omnoff. And the final boss, James. Nothing thus far. Has it finally worn off? A no one? Foil planes. Got a dodge too, Mike. Man, these extra commons here in the way back. Oh, just a rare. Oh, it's a borderless river glide, though. It's close, but doesn't. No, it's just about five. So, man, that's a nice little add to the pool, add to the bounty. Oh, and a foil rare behind it. Shadow's Verdict, which is not a, a contender. River Glide's a nice little add, though. The Borderless one, too, which actually is not as much as the normal edition. Foils and, like, Borderlesses with collector's products out there, it's, like, hurt that so bad for these normal ones. Kevin, one more. Here it is, Mike. Or is it going to be a victory lap with that last pack? No list on the back. So does Michael have the last list card in this war, too? Or is there, they all saved it later? This is Grime or Grim Climb Pathway. Lithoform Blight. Nice if we see another lithoform in the back. Here comes these random commons. Oh, and he pulls a mythic. Mythic for Kevin, last pack, has to be Omnoth. It doesn't. Drana. And then a foil common. Victory lap. Here it is, Mike. Oh, he does. Look, and we got a list on the back. Let's hit a killer list card here. That's one thing that, yeah, I have not hit. That's Tabarax. I have not hit a super killer list card. So Mike's going to hit both the list cards in this war. First one was Worn Power Stone. From Urza's Saga originally. This one is going to be after the rare. Mind of the Skyclaves. And your common foil is... Relentless Rats. We pulled that one before. But still, it's a useful card. And your foil common. So that is Michael. Leave that there. Put the winnings over here. So Mike, getting right back into it. So yeah, the river glide is nice. A couple foil. Yeah, you end up pulling two foil rares. 
couple foil lands was in that. That war. Yeah, your two list cards. It doesn't want to focus on both of them. How about if I give it one? There it goes. Our Relentless Rats. Worn Power Stone from the list. Your Borderless River Glide. With Lava Glide on the back. And what won it? Omnoth Showcase. I've never pulled an Omnoth either. That's my first one. Pretty Showcase Edition as well. So that was Michael. Kevin and James giveaway pool. So yeah, giveaway pool is going to be the same thing. It's going to be some packs or some credit. But I have to do the Cal Dime set giveaways first. I still am sleeping on them giveaways. So they'll get first pick with the packs. So I'll probably run both of them tomorrow. I'll do live vids in the group. Is that our nine? Oh, I guess I should randomize it. Make sure I have nine. Three, six, nine. Next list, same guys. Kevin. James, Michael. And there's our next list. See how many times we randomize it. Eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Here's our list. Eight. Oh, Michael, Kevin, James. Michael and Kevin swap from round one. So James says, okay, you can take it from the last spot. Let me see if I can take it from the last spot. And Kevin stays right in the middle. There's our next three each. Here we go, Mike, leading off. War two. Mike, you won war one. Unless one of them uh, foil lands is over six bucks. Here's a mountain art card. Well, only a couple commons there in the front before you're Put these down here for everybody before your uncommon start. Yeah, Omnath showcase for you, Michael. Round one. Couple list cards, couple foil lands, but Omnath showcase was the best. Uh, River Glide Pathway Borderless. There's these random commons at the end. A rare Scoop Swarm. And another rare behind it. Nighthawk Scavenger. Did we have that or did we have the art card of that? A common foil. Showcase McKinney Ox. And your goblin construct. Kevin. Pack one. No. no, it's not a list on the back. This is wasteland. And a lot of these, I don't even know which way they go. Let me 
can see something back there, I believe. There's an elf wizard. Rare. Yep. I saw that part of the card, so I knew it was a pathway. Crag Crown. Borderless. Not on the list, but it's got to be close to five bucks. Or I think most of the pathways are between like three and five bucks. The common foil behind it. And your insect token. <clears throat> James opening or your first pack in the War 2. No, it's not a list. This is Pillar Verge Pathway. Again, I don't even know which way this goes. These random, why do they put these random commons like 13 and 14 cards into it? Base camp and a rare squad commander behind it. Uncommon foil Malakot Cure Rebirth and your booster sleuth. I've heard of that one before. Michael pack two. Again, no list. No list yet in this this war. Reclaim the waste. Forest. Fine gecko. A couple random commons at the end. Just a rare. Man, Wayward Guide Beast again. We hit one of them in the first war. Mike, you won one of them in the first war. Common foil behind it. And your illusion. Kevin, pack two. Man, is start start hitting no list again. Seagate restoration, that's on the list though. So if we can hit that normal card at the back, Kevin would become the rabbit. We hit the foil McKinley Ox before. There's a normal one. And a, another uncommon and a rare behind it. Soul Shatter. And a common foil. Expedition Diviner. The filler. James back to. Oh, there's a list card on the back for James. So, so far, pack, or seat three is the only ones that hit list cards. And there's a foil island. Here's Celestial Colonnade. Which way does that go like that? A thing becoming a creature, that land becoming a creature and flying. Foil Island. Roost of Drakes, Blood Chief's Thirst, Off Consumption, and Random Commons, man, that throws me off so much, them com commons back there, the Rare, Yasharn, what's the list? A common foil, 
And Cloud Goat Ranger. Price check. Cloud Goat Ranger from the list. Last ones here, round three. No list. Is this another pathway? No, this is just your normal forest. Forest art card. And then a foil mountain. Oh, that thing's not even a dollar. The cloud goat. Man, so it is. It's like, I'm surprised them list cards aren't more highly priced. It seems like them top ones are hard to hit, or like any decent ones are hard to hit. The rare for Mike last, a pathway, but not... One of the ones that are up there. One of them pathways has got to be leading, though, this war so far. Common foil and your filler. Kevin last pack. So right now, yeah, we got the crag, crag crown pathway borderless and the needle verge pathway regular. I got to say one of them two has got to be winning. I don't know, maybe Scoot Swarm, though. Come on, hit hit something from the money list here. There's a different Forest Art card. Hit from the money list here in both these packs. I can't stand it when I have to look up war results. I like to just verify him quickly. Oh, Mythic at the end. There's one. There's a hit list. So that cancels it out, Kevin. With a turn timber. It's close to 550. Taking the lead, Kevin. Common foil behind it. There's the other side of turn turn timber timber. That is a good one. Your common foil and your cat token. So there we go, Kevin. Least Giving us something to shoot for in the last round here, the last pack. Turn Timber Symbiosis, and then Turn Timber Serpentine Wood for Kevin, last pack. Now he only has to dodge one. Oh, and James has got another list on the back. Look at this. Seat three. Pulling all four list cards. There's Linvala. I was going to say we got that one. All four list cards so far. Seat three of the war. Journey to Oblivion. This could be interesting at the end now. We know we have at least a list card that might give it a run. Yeah, seat three right now is on fire. An uncommon, a pathway behind it. Ooh, and a good one, though. It takes the lead. That's it. That's a walk-off. Normal clear water beats normal turn timber. Last pack, James. What's your list? Give us something to pile on. Ooh, and a foil rare behind it. Nothing great, though. What's the list? Oh, cool. What is that worth? What's the textless lightning bolt? 
list card. That might be a big one. There might be. Show me something big, please. And yeah, Clearwater beats Turn Timber by 46 cents. The prices that I have written down and what we're going by by my list is Clearwater was 586 and Turn Timber was 540. Clearwater on one side and Merc Water. So that wins it. What's Lightning Bolt tech, text list? What is that worth? For some reason, yeah, I'm starting to get a little thrill about that. That thinking that might be something. And yeah, and three pathways in that war. Huh. Just always have the last seat reserved for the final boss. And once what, they beat you three times in a row or something? Man, yeah, what is the bowl? Uh, what if you just type it in, in their search, instead of looking for it in the price guide? I'm going to put it in because, yeah, and I mean, normal lightning bolts are good. This one's from the list and tech, text list. Still hunting this, but... Verification, but that was a close one. We hit that other poopy list card and then turn timber. Last two packs hit, hit. Awesome ending to war two. Turn timber gets hit the second to last pack. And then last pack is clear water pathway, which beats it by 46 cents. And then we also have this lightning bolt. Textless list card, which I think thinking what five sixty one possibly is the same as the game day. I don't know if it wasn't clear water. It won lightning bolt won it for James and more too. So Michael and Kevin will go into the giveaways. And our last war is the two remaining from this, this one, and then these 10. And that's our box. And these, and just Steve is added in for this. So one more list. Or actually two more because there will be one for the giveaway then. Or maybe, like I said, I might even, I'll just do a live vid for that and the Cal Dime one tomorrow sometime. I'll post it live in the group or go Facebook live in the group. So here's our last list. Kevin, Steve, Michael, James. See how many times we randomize. Nine. One. Two. Didn't feel it. Didn't feel it again. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, here's our list. Nine, Steven leading off. Michael, two. James and Kevin gets the last one for this. And the big one. Steve, Michael, James, Kevin. Three packs each. Here we go. 
There is no list version again for that card. Is there a, a mystery booster edition for Lightning Bolt? Because that's what the uh, that Herald's Horn was in the Cal Dime set. And again, is that normal to be pulling Scion of the Swarm? To be pulling mystery booster cards out of set boxes? A foil swamp. There's been a lot of foil lands in this box, too. And we just had three pathways in the last war. Mythic to start for Steve. Oh, a Seagate Stormcaller. We want the Seagate Restoration. That one's not on my money list. That mythic common foil behind it. And your copy token. So weird that we keep pulling these cards that we can't find in the sets that they're supposed to be in. Expedition Diviner. We got that one before. Michael, first pack of War 3. Rare. Swarm Shambler. Common foil behind it. Scavenge blade and your plant. James first pack war three. List card again. Seat three. The only one that's hit list cards yet tonight. Five for five hitting list cards out of this box. There's the Murkwater pathway, or I guess it goes like that. Can we find this list card, supposedly where it's supposed to be in the price guide? Seems like there's lots of cards here in the back. Rare, Verizol, a, another rare behind it, a Grack Maw, a Common Foil, what's the list? Grim Harvests. No clue about that one either. So we'll put that for originally from Cold Snap, right? Is that what that set is? So price check on Grim Harvest on the list. This is Core Celebrant. No, oh, only a couple commons before your uncommons start in this one. Oh man, that list card's only 20. Like I said, it's hard to pull high money list cards. Rune Crab, man, does that card stink. Showcase 2 edition of it. A couple rares here. First one is Myriad Construct. Second one is Master of Winds. Uncommon foil. No, you got that normal end foil in that pack, right? And your Strictly Better. Eve second pack. 
We already know there's no, there's Omnath. Yep. So we already know the list isn't going to be until James again. <laughs> oh, man. Here's some random disenchant. Yeah, might as well reprint that again. Rare Luminarch Aspirant. Oh, the common foil negate. No, it's not. And your Drake. Ooh. Yeah, nothing on the money. Are we going to wait until that last round to start hitting the money list again? And then, of course, no list. This is a cool one, though. Who's that? Jace. Mirror Mage. Yeah, is it just the last seat in the war? Or is that, is that the third seat in the war? Both applied to the first two, only hitting lists. And so far, yeah, so far in the third, that's all it's been, too. There's our good uncommon. Up over three bucks. Bela Ged Recovery. Which is bringing cards back from the graveyard to your hand on that side for a sorcery. And it's a land on the other side. Spare supplies. Oh, sorry, squad commander. I thought I had one more. Oh, you do have another rare. And Cargan. And common foil. And your construct. So, yeah, I would bet you Bela Ged's leading it right now. A good uncommon from the setup over three bucks. So yeah, Michael hit that in three. <clears throat> Can I pay? Oh, we got a list, of course. How does this happen? Look at that. Pack. Yep. Man. So James in seat three, or yeah, I guess it's not the guy. It's the seat at this point because six for six going to seat three. That's Tazim Royal Mage. Six for six, the list. Seat three of these wars. That is crazy, though. It should like, yeah, it should not happen that way. Rare Zagris. A common foil behind it. And what's this list one? Eternal Dominion. Holy moly. Again, I have no clue. James, you've been so good about the prices thus far. Could I get one on Eternal Dominion, please? From the list originally printed, and that's one of the Kamigawas. I'm not sure which one, though. Kevin. No list, of course. I have to wait another round, guys, maybe before we see one more. Planes. Art card, and then your planes. Not the same, is it? Man, I can't even tell. No. Chilling trap. They're coming. A rare agra mauling. 
Oh, and a mythic foil behind it for Kevin in the last seat. Oh, man, I'm not familiar with it. Tazri. Might need a price check on him, too. 334 for Eternal. So I would say that was in the lead. What's Tazri Foil? So, you know, put Eternal into a sleeve as well. So right now, yeah, until the price check on Tazri Foil, Eternal Dominion's leading it. We gotta have a couple hit lists on the last last packs again. All right, Michael. See ya, man. Have a good one. Only sixty cents on Tazri. Thank you for being right on that, James. It really helps. Not having to stop. This is Yumara Mystic. Great art. Best of luck in your other wars, too, Michael. Hit something big. Steve, last one, rare, confounding conundrum, and a common foil behind it, and your great token. Michael, let's see if we can get him one as he walks away. Oh, and he's got a list. Here's our seventh and probably final list card. Let's make it a good one. Black Bloom Rogue. Oh, there's another Bela Ged, too. So he's hit two Bela Geds in this uh, war, too. So there are three bucks a piece piling up. For the winner. A rare nimble trap finder. What's our list? A foil common and a squirrel mob. What's that at? Squirrel mob list from what? Odyssey, I believe. That little. Is that a good one? <laughs> Man. Squirrel Mob, that's got to be Eternal Dominion, right? No list for James in the third seat. Oh, but he gets our foil gold stamped. There's the little tiny signature, gold signature. Oh, 13 bucks for Squirrel Mob. That's a nice hit. Michael, as he walks away, hits a $13 list card. Wow. So there's our foil signed. What was it? Yumara Mystic? Yeah. Little tiny fine gold signature in the bottom there. Bottom left-hand corner. Planes. So hunting squirrel mob list now. Thirteen dollars. This is, turns into a nice war with that and a couple good uncommons. That other list card. Can somebody beat thirteen? So over thirteen. All I have is non foil. Is Agadim's Awakening. We got to hit the number one card in the set. And there's another confounding conundrum. Didn't we just hit that? Yeah. Man, two packs ago. 
another rare behind it. Uh, coveted prize. And also, didn't we hit that? Maybe in a different war. An uncommon. And your angel token. Here we go, Kevin. Last pack. Oh, and he's got another list. So we beat that 25% and we got eight list cards. Does it beat Squirrel Mob? There's Maddening. Cacophony? Maybe? No clue how to say that. Kevin, last pack, list card. Can it catch Squirrel Mob? Here we go, Uncommons. Just a rare. What's the... We got a foil and a list card. Common foil. And the list to end it is a red. Ooh, Simeon Spirit Guide. What's that at? Originally from Planar Chaos. Wow. Might have hit two decent list cards there. Oh, Simeon's only two. I thought it was going to be higher than that. That's a nice little war, though. So you got two Bela Ged recoveries, which are each... Three bucks over three, just over three. That list card, you got eternal, or you got your gold signed art card. You got eternal dominion list. And look at that, all our list cards win it or are in this war. It's like all list recap. Your Simeon Spirit Guide and then what won it for Michael. Squirrel Mob as he walks away to tend to other business. Over 13 bucks. So Kevin, James, and Steve will go into the giveaways. That is Michael's. He loves art cards too. And he's going to be stoked when he got the, the gold signed one. Along with that cool Squirrel Mob. That might be the best list card I hit. I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, War 1 was Michael. And Omnath won it. Omnath Showcase. War 2 was James. Which was the last two packs was Turn Timber, which took the lead. And then James in the next pack hit... Clearwater, which won it. And then we still got to verify this lightning bolt. See what set it's from and what it's worth. But that might be another good, real nice hit in that one, too. And then Michael, right as he yeah, says he's leaving to go tend to other business, he hits the, the war with all the list cards. Including Squirrel Mob, which won it for him. So yeah, the final boss winning two more wars tonight. And of course, James wins the other one. Them guys cannot lose. So yeah, like I said, I'll do a live drawing for uh, giveaways tomorrow. Bunch of different packs. But Cal Dime giveaway winners will get first choice. And then I will give you guys second choice or the, the one guy who hits the giveaway. And I'll do the random list just to, just like I normally do for that tomorrow. Top guy on the list hits. Got Modern Horizons live broadcast Tuesday, March 30th. Then Throne is up there. 
it's almost full. I believe there's a couple seats left. Maybe not after I check my notifications after that, after this. And then we're going to go back to a master set, most likely Masters uh, 25. Get back to some big boy cards and hit, hit, hit after hit after hit. So, yeah, if you want to get in on the action, check out the Facebook group, Magical Box Breaks and Wars. Have a good night, guys. Peace.